specific heat capacity solving for change in temperature. If 100 grams of water with a specific heat capacity of 4.18 joules per gram degrees Celsius loses 232 joules of heat, what is the change in temperature? The first thing that you're going to want to do is write down your formula. Q equals MC delta T. And then we want to start substituting the information from our problem into the formula. So if 100 grams of water, so our mass is going to be 100 grams, with a specific heat capacity of 4.18, so we're going to put that in, 4.18 joules per gram degrees Celsius, loses 232 joules of heat, so that's going to be 232 joules of heat, what is the change in temperature? So we're going to solve here for delta T. So when I do this, the first thing I want to do is say, all right, 232 joules and take 100 times 4.18. If I do that, I get 418. So now I've basically isolated my delta T. And then I want to divide both sides by 418. So that'll cancel. Delta T is by itself. And then 232 divided by 418 gives me 0 0.56 degrees Celsius. And all of our units would all of our units would cancel here to be left with our final unit of degrees Celsius.